yeah, just recording my experience. A lot of things are new for me. What's the table? Uh, this is oh, okay. Yeah. You do not have to be Latinos to join. Oh. So each each table has something it represents? Yeah, yeah they're they're like organizations. all like organizations, clubs. Uh-huh. So we're more okay. like a club. Yeah. And it's really like, it's for, it's for fun, but we also try to like get people to experience uh, different cultures from like Hispanic uh, oh. aspect of things. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you wanted to see, I guess, a more diverse group, you have to go to Alpha Magama because they have everybody. Okay. Well, Magama's more like all international, but we're uh -huh. specifically focusing on the Hispanic yeah. community. But like you said, you don't have to be Hispanic. Oh. Or like, you, know, to participate. you don't have to know Spanish either. You can join. Yeah. Because a lot of people are not exposed, especially here in Arkansas. Yeah. You, you really don't see a lot of races until you actually hit college. And so yeah. it's just something interesting to see and to tell. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you, Gil. Hi. I'm recording for my YouTube channel. <laughs> Yeah. So what's the and table we, about? Um, our oh, okay. How do you pronounce this? Uh, oh, Alpha Z Delta. Okay, I would have said X Z. It looks beautiful. So is this like if you want to pledge into the sorority, you sign up? Uh huh. That's all. Yeah, yeah. Like, so like, it's just if you're interested, we'll give you a follow on Instagram or um, just like reach out to you throughout the summer and see. Mm -hmm. So, what, what, like, what's special about being in a sorority? Um, for me, I just gained like a lot of new friends, and it just gives me like a group of people to go throughout college with and like support me. It's a good yeah. way to be involved on campus and yeah. connections that will further not only your college career but your future career as well. Oh wow, okay. Someone always has your back, like no matter what. Good. So it's a good way to meet new people, oh, yeah. make connections, yeah. and like connections that will last after college. And being involved in the community and on campus. Oh, well, thank you guys. Thank you. You too. Hey. Hi. 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 I'm recording for my channel. Hi. So, what's this table about? <laughs> Oh, okay. So we just do like testing accommodations and stuff like that. For, is it for, especially for people who are disabled or? Yeah, so people just have like ADD, anxiety, uh, tension of some kind. Yeah, these uh -huh. are the different things. And then obviously any kind of physical stuff that's going on. So. Oh, thank you. Of course. Uh, okay. Hi. Hey, I'm recording for my YouTube channel. Hey. Hey, so what's this table about? Uh, so this is uh, Sorority and Fraternity Life. It's pretty much all the social briefs that you see on campus. Mm -hmm. uh, the IFC, NPC, NPHC, Sororities and Fraternities. Okay. And, uh, yeah. So, so all this is all the sororities or just the particular? All, all the sororities and the fraternities. So do I come here to check them out or do I come here to register or what information would I get from this table? Uh, well, I mean, we can give you information about the... Uh, organizations on campus you know uh -huh. we've got our uh, QR code here you can get more information we've got the information here okay information. yeah well, thank you hey guys hey so what's this table about your table is beautiful uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, uh, for me personally, mm -hmm. when I joined SID, it was a great way to make friends, open like new people, and connect with people on campus that can meet you to bigger places than you need. Yeah. That well, was nice meeting you all. Thank, Thank you. you for the information. Hi, you. Yeah, you too. Hey, Sierra. Hey. Is this your sorority? Yes. Oh. So do you want to tell me a little about it? Okay. Mm -hmm. So 
I'm Sierra Ferguson. I am a Spring 21 initiate of mm -hmm. Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. We were founded January 15th, 1908 on the campus of Howard University in, <laughs> in the dormitory of Minor Hall. Mm -hmm. And we were chartered on Henderson's campus um, December 2nd, 1973 by the Mystique 19. Mm -hmm. And basically, it is to connect college women to build like a sense of community somewhere like you know a home somewhere to have somewhere to go mm -hmm. um, and also to just um, visit you your four years that you'll be in school yeah you'll be in school we have our mission Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated was founded on a mission comprised of five basic tenants they have remained unchanged since the sorority's inception more than a century ago mm -hmm. Alpha Kappa Alpha's mission is to cultivate and encourage high scholastic and ethical standards to promote unity and friendship among college age women to study mm -hmm. and help alleviate problems concerning girls and women in order to improve social stature mm -hmm. and to also maintain a progressive interest in college life and to be a service to all mankind. Wow. So it goes beyond the people that you know that become your sisters on campus. Yeah. You also get to be a different, a whole different community outside of Henderson or wherever you that, that play. So, that is so good and so, yeah. so interesting. for black people and minorities so they can have a community when they come here. We do study sessions, we do kickbacks, and we do things for Black History Month or Cancer Awareness Month, and overall we just help out the community. Okay. Well, I hope you stay around and you can always join. It's only $10 for the whole entire year. Oh, okay. We'll be doing next semester. Okay. I'm going to be looking out for this. So what's your name? I'm Peace. Peace. I'm Peace. Maya. Oh, I'm nice to meet you. Caitlin, so nice to meet you. That's our president and our vice president. Okay. Hi. Hi. I'm good. Yeah, so we're a student ministry organization, so it's like youth group for college kids, basically. So uh, yeah. what, what's the full meaning of BCM? So it's Baptist Collegiate Ministry. Baptist what? Collegiate Ministry. Oh, okay, wow, thank you. Absolutely. And if you want to take a sticky note or a cup or a frisbee. Oh. Yeah. Well, thank you. President of Alpha Mu Gamma. Um, we're a foreign language honor society here on campus. Hey guys, so um, I just came out from the quad. I had to get some frappuccino and I'm going back to my dorm. I have another class this afternoon, so I'm just gonna have this for lunch and then when it's time for my class, I'll go for my class. But it was a good experience, I think. A lot of high school students came over to check out the school. I'm almost close to my dorm. And I, I don't think I have any more new information that I want to share. I just want to go enjoy my Frappuccino. I don't know why I love this so much. This was another day. It was the Battle of the Ravine Tie-Dye event. You get a free shirt in your size. Hey! Hi. Then you can customize it however you want with the dye. What size do you need? Uh, a medium, please. Okay. Here you go. Yeah, thank you. you. Like I'm mask? actually recording for my oh, okay. YouTube channel. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Would you like a mask as well? Or just a okay, yeah, thank you. Okay, there you go. Hello, how are you? Hey, Brandon. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Hey, you guys. Hey. <laughs> And just be, feel free to get some gloves and... Okay, thank you. I've actually never done tie-dye before. Like like this. Uh-huh. And then tie it, tie okay. it, tie it, okay. tie it, or, or okay. we can like put it together and then tie the ends. Oh, okay. And that makes sense. Okay, so whichever style I want to do. There's a swirling one you can do where it has okay. a swirl in it. Oh, okay. I 
have zero experience in tie-dye like completely zero i have no idea what i'm about to do to this white shirt but it's gonna be mine so whatever i do i'm sure i'm gonna be proud of it so um i hope you're rooting for me <laughs> just in case you're wondering what the battle of the ravine is it's a college rivalry game that is played between my school henderson state university and another school called ochita baptist university it's one of the oldest rivalry games and it's a very big deal here i think i'm done soaking the white with the dye i hope it just turns out good <laughs> I guess we will find out what it looks like at the end of this video. Thank you all. Have fun. That's me. I don't know if you guys could see me clearly though. <laughs> I'm heading to my dorm now. I will show you guys what the tie dye looks like when it's dried and when I have taken out the rubber bands. This is it guys. My knees are wet because I was kneeling down on the grass and the grass was like wet so that's why so yeah this is open gotta go i just took out the rubber band and this is what it looks like okay guys i think i made a very terrible mistake which might be a blessing in disguise i'm not sure yet so i I think I was supposed to wash this tie and dye material cloth thingy with the rubber band on it. I think I was supposed to like rinse it before pulling out the rubber band or I don't know what I was supposed to do. I think that was what I was supposed to do. I took out the rubber band and then I just like washed it and it turned the entire cloth pink. Like the cloth now is pinkish red or reddish pink. <laughs> It might be a blessing in disguise because it doesn't look terrible nobody's gonna know that it was something that happened by mistake yeah that's the update so guys this is what my tie-dye looks like and hopefully i get to show you guys when i put it on but if not this is what it looks like and give this video a thumbs up for me <laughs> my first time doing tie-dye like seriously i'm proud of myself for the way it came out whether this was a mistake or not i'm proud of myself regardless 